Hello, my name is Kevin Fitzpatrick, Storage and Data Protection Practice Lead at Comm Solutions. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to add a host to the NetApp On Command Management Console. In order to add a host to the NetApp Management Console, open up the Management Console and go down to the Host tab. Once within the Host tab, click the Add button. The Add button will bring up a wizard. You can go ahead and click Next once we review what the wizard states. Enter the IP address of the filer you wish to add as the host. Click Next. Enter the username and password. Click Next. On the following screen, you can see the licenses that are currently installed, or you could add new licenses at this point. You should also note that for future reference, you can edit the licensing through the on-command management console as well. On the following screen, you can enable the snap vault. However, please note that if you highlight and add an asterisk under the snap vault access control list, it'll allow all host access to snap vault to this filer. The same policy change applies for the snap mirror access control list. On the following screen, you can enable the end DMP protocol. Go ahead and click finish, and you can see that your host has been added. You'll see that the system is online, its logging credentials are good, however NDMP status is down. You'll notice the NDMP credentials are unknown due to the fact that we are not using the NDMP protocol. Under general session you can see the statistics as well as the licenses on the right hand side. If you click on the Usage tab, you can select either by volumes, aggregates, and see the type of usage that is taking place on those volumes or aggregates. The Paths tab will show any incoming and outgoing paths to the host. Currently, there are none since this is a stay in my test environment. The Input and Output Relationship tabs are for SnapMirror and SnapFault relationships, which currently I have none. I would like to thank you for taking the time to review this video. Should you have any questions, please feel free to email me directly, kfitzpatrick at comsolutions.com. Also, please note that you can visit www.comsolutions.com to review other videos and blogs from our various practice leaders. Thank you, and have a good day.